Hello and welcome to another edition of Ask Cheeky. I'm Isaiah Henkel, a Cheeky Scientist. This week's question comes from Abu Keaton. What's the best way to set up an informational interview? How can I find professionals in my area to have these interviews with and how do I reach out to them? And then what do I say on the interview? Uh, it's a great question. Uh, informational interviews are very popular right now. Uh, if you're looking to transition into industry, one of the best places to start is by setting up informational interviews with other industry professionals. Uh, if don't know any other industry professionals, you can start by setting up some mock interviews with, uh, with friends or, or people in your lab or wherever you're at, get comfortable with it, and then you can reach out to industry professionals. Uh, when setting these up, you want to make sure that you develop the relationship first, right? So follow, uh, you know, follow some of our networking strategies to build relationships, to add value to other people if you're reaching out to them on LinkedIn or going to live events. Um, and develop that relationship and then ask them uh, for an informational interview. And this can be done on the phone or by email. Uh, the key is to just reduce the amount of stress or the amount of energy or time that the other person has to uh, expend as much as possible. Uh, you do all the work yourself and make it seem like it's not a big deal. Uh, when you're reaching out, uh, first and foremost, have proper email etiquette. Uh, reach out with a polite email, make sure you develop that relationship first, uh, ask them politely. And again, make it seem like a not, not a big deal. If it's for an in-person meeting, uh, say that you're going to be in the area anyway and ask them if they'd like to get a cup of coffee. And, and maybe you can pick their uh, brain uh, and ask a few questions about what it's like to work in, in their position. Uh, make it very easy. Same with the phone. Ask them if you can jump on the phone for five minutes if they have an open time. You're doing a, a couple of uh, interviews or you're doing a couple of phone calls. Maybe don't even call it an interview or with other industry professionals to compare a few jobs and you'd just like to have their take on their current position. Uh, so again, proper email etiquette. Uh, don't make it seem too intense for them. And then make sure you're going to, you tell them how much time and effort it's going to take, right? Don't, don't leave it open-ended. Tell them, you know, I would love to get on the phone with you for five minutes. Uh, I would love to get coffee with you for 15 minutes. Uh, ask you three questions. That's all. Start very small. And if that goes well, maybe you can get on the phone with them down the road or meet with them in person down the road uh, for a longer period of time. And then once you actually get to the interview, make sure you prepare a few questions beforehand. And don't make it formal. Don't have a list of questions in front of you that you're going to ask. Don't take out a tape recorder. Uh, don't do anything crazy like that. Uh, but instead, just have a few questions in mind and act like a journalist. Ask them questions and then go with them um, in the conversation. If they start talking passionately about one part of their job, uh, don't try to bring them back on track right away to whatever your next question is. Don't feel like you have to hit every single question that you mapped out. Uh, go and talk about the topics that they want to talk about. If they go on a tangent, let them go on that tangent. Uh, right? Have a conversation with them. Treat it more like a, a story and not like a, you know, a, a test or an exam that they have to uh, answer. Right? Uh, so uh, keep these things in mind when you're setting up your informational interviews and when you're executing these informational interviews. And you'll do uh, what you need to do for an informational interview, which is the most important thing, which is to develop the relationship and to hopefully have, you know, develop the relationship in a way where you can use this person as a referral down the road. Uh, all informational interviews uh, should hopefully lead to at least a referral or someone you can contact to get the name of a hiring manager uh, and so forth. And then finally, when you close the informational interview, make sure you ask them for anybody else they can interview. Um, and make sure you follow up and tell them how grateful you are um, for their time and continue to follow up. And again, as always, keep developing that relationship. So until next time, remember your value as a PhD and start thinking and acting like a successful industry professional.